Can you hear me? Is the mic working? Testing. Um, I, uh, I know I said I'd warn you next time I did one of these. Um, but I wasn't going to do one today. But then it was such a grey, miserable day. And I thought, what better <laughs> to cheer the world up? than a fat bloke drinking beer. <laughs> so, uh, cheers everyone. Um, I obviously haven't got any questions. Uh, just say hello, hello, and tell me where you're, where you're watching from, where you're watching and listening. This is, this is working now, is it? See, I've got it, I've got it portrait, I've got the little light on. My microphone. <clears throat> this could be the entertainment of the future, isn't it? Um, if it all goes tits up. Uh, rescheduling my um, my tour for next year. So there'll be news on that. Keep your tickets. If you had uh, if you had tickets to Palladium or Madison Square Garden or LA. Copenhagen Arena. Um, I am doing them all um, next year now. But oh, I'll basically finish it a year later. It was meant to finish at Wembley this November and it's going to finish next November. What can you do? What can you do? Um, I'm going to do some uh, more warm ups because obviously I haven't gigged for six months. And uh, you've got to keep changing it. You got to, you keep evolving anyway. So it's sort of like the new stuff is a year old. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to try a, an experimental sort of night in London in a few weeks' time. Uh, it's what they've done is um, it's a venue that's like I don't know twelve hundred capacity, and they've halved it. And they put blocks of seats with a little table. So it'll be a real, be a proper gig, but I'll try and keep it cheap because um, it'll be good for me as well. Uh, so I'll announce that in a few days. Um, what else What else is going on? Or just come to Texas. Were you just allowed to do gigs there? Are you? Uh, what beer are you drinking? Oh, I'm drinking this. Thanks for asking. Street Dog. It's a brew dog. Um, that came from one of these stupid sessions that they give all the profits now. We got together and they decided to make special cans and give all the profits to rehoming dogs. Basically, saving dogs is my job now. <laughs> now, <laughs> now I can't do films and TV and gigs. Um, that's sort of been my job through lockdown, trying to raise money to rescue cats and dogs. Um, come to Austin. Thank you. I, I, I appreciate all these invites, but it's a bit tricky at the moment. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's what's happening. I'm thinking of uh, gigs... We're, we're getting around to them. I mean, you know, there are there are bigger things to worry about in the world than uh, Ricky's gigs. Uh, um, so yeah, I was uh, I was thinking today as well. I was I was talking to the promoter and everything, and I went, oh, I hope these ones don't get cancelled in a year's time. And he said, if the gigs get cancelled in a year's time. We have got bigger things to worry about. And that's true, isn't it? Um, yeah. Money won't be any good, will it? Uh, when there's people, you know, marauders, coming to steal my wine and toilet rolls, I, I, I can't say, <laughs> here's a million pounds. I go, money's, money's nothing in this world. It's, it'd be like The Walking Dead, wouldn't it? 
Just <laughs> no law. <laughs> um, no, it won't. It'll all be back to normal. It'll all be back to normal soon. Um, when do I think it'll be back to normal? Next April, when I'm filming Afterlife Three. I've I've basically I've written that. I'm on the second draft, you know. It, uh, so I hope that's all right. But enough about me. How are you? Um, ask me a question. Um, thank you for all the hearts, by the way. Uh, oh yeah, what was I going to say? Um, I was thinking of getting these sort of things sponsored or raising money or for for charity. Uh, and I thought, uh, I want to do things that I actually do anyway, like not just get a product that I've never used or I don't care about. Um, and I thought something like, you know, uh, vegan food would be good. Um, so only a company that, you know, does vegan food or I think that's the future. Uh, Arsenal or Spurs? Well, Funny you should say that, someone just said. Um, I just watched that documentary uh, about Spurs and I loved it. And then I watched the Chelsea Spurs game. And I, I, I haven't watched a league or cup match for years. I, I, I watched the World Cup and the Euros. And um, when you see behind the scenes, it makes the game so more exciting. So... Uh, I guess Spurs. I suppose it's knowing the personalities. Then you, you root for them. And Mourinho's great. I think he's great. I've started watching the Man City one as well last night. Um, and I love the uh, Americans tuning in going, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> I watched the uh, Sunderland Till I Die. Uh, and that was, that, was, that was great. Very different. That was about the, that was the fans more. That was about the town. Um, it's like it was a religion there, and sport is sort of a religion to some, isn't it? It's their big, it's their big cathedral. Um, so yeah, uh, Spurs, I guess. I sort of vaguely supported Spurs in the uh, in the eighties with Hoddle and Waddle and then Gaza, um, but I haven't really, I haven't really been a football fan. Uh, for most of my adult life, uh, except international games. Um, so anyway, yeah, this was just to say hello, to say I'm sorting out the gigs. Um, uh, hopefully, um, I'll be filming Afterlife 3. Uh, I'll keep doing these through the the lockdown if you if you like them. Um, and uh, yeah, maybe it's, I don't know. Maybe this will be maybe this will be my life. Uh, I'll, once I get my bunker, um, <laughs> I just broadcast <laughs> to the world. It'd just be pockets of people in forests, won't it? Sort of round fires, eating rats, uh, listening what. <laughs> <laughs> watching this on Zoom. I was thinking the other day, I wish I'd have bought shares in Zoom. I had heard of Zoom before March. And uh, and now I do all the interviews on it. It's like changed completely. Commerce and business and office life. Um, but uh, I think how miserable this would have been, this pandemic would have been without the internet, without this form of telecommunication, without FaceTime, your family, your elderly relatives, uh, uh, Zoom, games, Netflix. I mean, the Black Death must have been fucking awful. <laughs> just nothing to watch. You just sit, you just sit in your hovel and then you go, you go, and you just get dumped outside. The bell can bring out your dead. I go, what have you been doing? Nothing, just sitting here. There's, there's no Netflix, no Zoom. 
It must have been terrible, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> so, I assume that this makes us feel a little bit better about this one. We're in a global pandemic, but we've got Netflix. Um, well, <laughs> I'd say hello to a few people. Um, my eyesight's going. I can't. I mean, I could brighten everything up, but that makes my eyes sting when it's too bright. <laughs> also, I look better in the dark. Um, well, this was well worthwhile, wasn't it? Uh, that's it. Next time I will warn you and I'll ask, answer some questions and, and, uh, and all that. But this was just an impromptu one. Uh, I'll let you know about the gigs. It's only for people in London, I'm afraid. Um, uh, so uh, I'll, go, I'll start going further afield when things open up. But um, it's, not in a, it's not in a good state at the moment. Uh, there's, there's areas that are, 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 in, are in trouble. And uh, you know, people are there's a there's a there's a basically a, a, a lockdown again. We're in the second wave of it in London. Um, but I'm going to try and do these gigs, and they're as I say, they're nice and safe and socially distanced. I will keep them cheap. Don't tout them. Don't be a tout. Don't buy it for someone else to try and make a profit. That's shitty. I mean, it's shitty at the best of times. But if you do that now, when people are struggling, they're losing their jobs. They're working at nurses might pay for this, right? So don't be a tout, basically. Don't be a cunt, all right? <laughs> right? <laughs> On that note, cheers, everyone. Stay safe. Be nice to animals. Have a great weekend. Tatty bye, everyone. Tatty bye.